Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. The base icon SBC dropped yesterday as we expected some sort of big SBC and EA delivered. And I want to talk about how it made the market move because some SBC fodder is going up, some SBC fodder has come down, and the meta market and a lot of cards were fluctuating a lot yesterday. So I want to break that down with you guys because again, it's very important to try to learn how the market reacts when we have big time SBCs like this makes the market move a lot. There were ample opportunities to make coins yesterday with fodder and on the meta market as a lot of people sold cards to go into the SBC, but then afterwards went back and maybe bought some of those cards to go out and play games with. So we saw some cards rise back up. So we're gonna deep dive into that today. And of course, look into today's content on Tuesday because again, according to like the normal schedule that EA kind of operates on, we could see that 80 plus team of the week upgrade pack today, which could make some fodder on a different level move some more so if you have 84s or 85s good news for you if that SBC drops today we'll break that down here in a second but if you're excited for the video and if you're excited for this base icon or if you made coins or packed something sick hit the thumbs up subscribe if you're new let's talk about this SBC of course a gamble SBC and we have to say this from the beginning if you're thinking about doing it yes you can craft it with 75 plus player picks yes you can craft it with rewards packs yes with the uh, fodder swaps packs that are out there it is craftable but it, again by nature is a gamble sbc and it a lot of times does not give you players from it that are more than its value but the fact that it's 200,000 coins seems cheap and especially considering like the what what this sbc costed last year when it was first dropped in fifa 22 it was like 600,000 coins or 500,000 coins right and this year 200k for a no max rating base icon upgrade that just goes to show you how different a prices are on the market this year and b what ea is trying to do with this game they're really trying to make SBCs like this a lot cheaper so that it makes it easier to do and again more fun of a gamble right i'm sure that more people across the game are able to do and want to do an SBC like this because it's a lot cheaper and you kind of see that with SBC fodder going up as much as it did it's pretty obvious that what ea is trying to do uh, they are succeeding in doing that. And let's take a look at fodder. The higher rate is like Neuer. This stuff went up the most because there's more than just one SBC that is in demand for these cards right now. You've got the Robbie Keane SBC that people are going out and doing. And you've got this base icon upgrade, which although the highest rated squad inside of it is 87, you do have a requirement in here for an 88 overall or higher players minimum one. So the combination of that demand and also people use some higher rated cards. Like the cheapest way to do an 85 rated squad is drop like an 88 and 89 in there a couple of higher rateds and then just fill the rest with 83s and 84s right that's kind of the cheapest way to do it and that's why that higher tier fodder is going up a lot because they're used in both of those SBCs, and of course the robbie keen that people are now crafting because they're getting fodder from the 75 plus upgrade so that's why your higher tier fodder is going up the most in my opinion this is the same trend that we have seen in the past couple of mondays I would sell your 88 and above fodder. I would sell that this morning heading into the Tuesday content. Could it go a little bit higher maybe on Wednesday? Potentially it could go up a little bit more, but I think you'll see 88s go up a little bit more today. I'm talking like one to 2K. Maybe 88s will go to 26. 89s might go to 35, 36. You know, maybe 90s are like 48 and 91s are like, you know, Benzema maybe goes to like 55K. Probably not crazy increases, but people will wake up today, do more player picks, finish the base icon if they haven't, finish Robbie Keane if they're working on that. That's kind of the grind that we normally see and the movements that we normally see on Tuesdays after a big gamble pack anyway. This high tier fodder should go up a little bit more today and I think it'd be a great time to get out, take the coins, and especially if you bought some of these cards on the weekend, right? This is when we were talking about buying SBC fodder. If you bought any of this higher rated fodder on the weekend, uh, you're making big money, like 80. I mean, I remember guys on Friday and Saturday were buying 88s for 18 to 19,000 coins. And right now you have the opportunity to sell these guys for like 25, 26 K today for a three day hold at the most. That's incredible. That is a really, really incredible return on your investment. Like 5,000 coins a card after tax is fantastic. And that's just for the 88s. So big W on the higher tier side of the fodder market. I think I would sell it before we get into the later part of the week because the demand for the SBC is not as fresh later on in the week and we'll have more supply as the week goes on from rewards, from marquee matchups on Thursday and stuff like that. So 
sell that fodder pretty soon because you've seen the nice spike take the cash enjoy the profits now for the other side of fodder the cheaper stuff let's take a look at the index 85 because this kind of paints the picture of what happened with 85s yesterday after weekend league rewards fodder went up 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 into the content drop people were investing and doing sbcs there's kind of double demand here investing for a base icon and doing that robbie keen sbc which requires a lot of fodder so this stuff is going up and then it went down because 85s didn't have as much demand as the higher tier fodder did and a lot of people invested and they wanted the price to go up they thought it was going to go up but in turn they sell the price going down so they sold and they panic sold i heard a lot of people were buying 85s at like eight and a half k that's just a little bit too much if i'm being completely honest you need one of those like 85 overall or higher squad requirements specifically in an sbc like the 80 plus team of the week upgrade to make 85s go up to like 10k or something like that so 85s went back down and they're still kind of low at the moment i don't think that 85s are like you know stupid low like you should definitely buy these but if we get that 80 plus team of the week upgrade today the past two times it's been released it has required three 84 plus cards in the requirements but before that i think it required two 85s so whatever that requirement is today if you have 84s or 85s i think you will see both of these go up a little bit but based on that requirement if it requires 84s you'll see those go up more if it requires 85s you'll see those go up more and that 80 plus team of the week is a pretty common sbc that we have seen on tuesdays so if you bought the lower tier end of fodder which we definitely talked about buying over the weekend as well i would still hold on to that if you have some in the club or on your transfer list today could be your day to see that fodder go up a bit in price with the 80 plus team of the week upgrade so absolutely watch out for that one i mean there is a chance that they wouldn't drop the 80 plus team of the week i don't even know if the team of the week of one through eight sbc has been dropped into the code yet i think it has but i i haven't i don't remember seeing it 100 percent uh for sure so if you do have some of these 84s and 85s make sure that that pack code drops maybe we have a quick pack code update this morning or we hear leaks or anything like that just keep an eye out for your 84s today uh, and 85s because if that sbc drops those will go up and it'll create a nice sell opportunity for those as well now again with the base icon the market moved a lot and i was tracking a lot of cards yesterday i tracked a lot of icons there was panic selling before the content drop this mid lom of course notice mid lom not even a base icon that would have been packed yesterday by anybody except for the baby lom right uh he was around like 390 or 400k he rebounded back to about 440 or 450 base cantana was down under a million coins is now back to around 1.1 Base Pushkas was like 730. He's back up now, almost 100,000 coins to 830K. Jarzinho was under 1.7. He is now above 1.8. Uh, there were just a lot of fluctuations on those base icons, some of the mid icons, and then the whole rest of the market in general, because even right after that SBC dropped, again, guys, a 200,000 coin icon upgrade SBC, and people were panic selling their baby Pushkas. Think about how few people packed base Pushkas yesterday that actually had him tradable. It's kind of funny when you see an 800,000 coin icon that gets sold off because of a 200k SBC that is a gamble pack, right? Not very many, many people are packing Pushkas out of that pack, but somehow people still go and they sell because they see that SBC and I guess they expect the prices to drop. So that was a really, really good place to trade with cards yesterday. A lot of icons got low and they rebounded back. But of course, people that were going and doing the SBC went out and sold some cards as well. I saw a lot of heroes yesterday, specifically guys like Brawlin, who I ended up buying a couple of, uh, Diego, uh, the Forlan card. Like there were so many of these base heroes that moved a lot yesterday. Again, Brolin was like 135. Uh, Forlan was down like 30,000 coins. He's probably back up now. Is he like 180 or 190? Forlan is about 180,000 coins. I bought Smolarek at 100 and I think it was like 60,000 coins. How much is Smolarek right now? Smolarek is 175, right? So you've had some solid rebounds on a lot of those cards, but that's kind of in that price range where a lot of people were selling cards yesterday because they go and sell a smaller wreck, they go and sell a Harry Cool base uh, hero card, or they go and sell a Govu, and then of course, uh, you know, they they go and sell that card because they're going to do the SBC. Take a look at Govu, right? Govu was 247 before content 
Went all the way down to 210. He was actually about 205 for a minute. Rebounded back to 220. Right now he's 226. And it's a Monday, right? The, the biggest thing that I want to make a point here is it was a Monday. So a lot of people have still are still fresh off their weekly rewards. They have some coins, and there's gameplay demand for people to go out and play rivals and to build teams. Alawarian was 515k before content. He went down to about 480 and then now exploded back up to being about almost 530,000 coins. So there was a lot of opportunity to make money yesterday. The cards that fluctuated the most were actually some of these World Cup heroes. I think because they are still brand new and fresh and a lot of people wanted to try them. You saw Dirk Kite go down to 270 and then rebound all the way back up to 310. Uh, he was one of the biggest movers yesterday. Uh, as a World Cup hero card on the market. But the other side of the coin is a lot of your meta golds dropped and are still low. Cristiano Ronaldo was under 200K. Take a look at this. Ronaldo was 230 right before content, dropped down to 190, and has kind of been around the 200, 190 to 200,000 coins uh, range since then. Uh, you know, Mbappe rebounded back a little bit. Berlin Mendy is down. He's 29,000 coins. Yesterday before content, he was 33, went down to 26, is up a little bit. But a lot of these gold cards are just in the mud because, again, gold cards continue to fall off the map of this game because a lot of people at the same time uh, as these gold cards are falling out of favor and they're not as hyped anymore because we have so many new promo cards and SBCs that people are doing to replace them in their teams. At the same time, we have these World Cup player items. I have Neymar untradeable in my team, right? I packed the red World Cup version of Neymar today. I think that is happening for a lot of people as they go out and they do these objectives or they go out and they get these packs. Even from weekend league rewards, you know, getting rank five weekend league rewards yesterday, I had a 50K pack and a 125K pack, and inside of that were all of those red World Cup player player picks, which you have potential to pack some guys like Ferlin Mendy, like KDB, Neymar, Cancelo, Van Dyke, Messi, like all those players that people want for their teams. They're packing right now in a red version. I know it's limited time, but it's red. It looks cool. It looks different, and it's more just those cards are getting into people's clubs because of those packs. And I think that's starting to impact the gold cards and continuing to impact the gold cards on this market. So that's why I'm not a huge fan uh, of really messing with golds too much. You can try to quick trip, uh, quick flip trade them, if you will, on the fluctuations if you time it right. But I'm trying to stick to the more rare stuff. And again, this market as a whole, not every single part of the market rebounded back yesterday. I mean, even again with these hero cards, as we look at these drop-offs, for examples, Roland's 155, but he did not get anywhere near the 170,000 coins that he was before the content drop yesterday. So the market went down and is not rebounding back all the way in most areas. But I think that's because of two things. One, you have all these SBCs that are draining coins right now, especially the 75 plus player pick. This one might seem small and it might seem like it's harmless, but 2,000 coins, 2.7K, people are buying non-rare golds to go and get this SBC done. How much are non-rare golds on the market right now? Let me check. Non-rare golds are not up that much, but I believe they're going to rise up even more today. So 500 coins right now for these. I'm probably going to stock my club with some tonight before they go up even more today on Tuesday because some people will look at this 75 plus player pick and say, nah, Nate, this is trash. This is bad. But what do we know? Player picks, especially in years past, have showed us and told us that anytime a player pick is out like this, people go crazy for it. People absolutely love these. I even turn in rares for this because, you know, it's whatever. It's, it's, it's like the same thing. So people absolutely love these. I love these. They're fun. They're easy to do. It's only five players that you have to turn in. It's super duper cheap. And you do get some decent players from it, right? I did like probably 30 of these yesterday. And I ended up picking up myself, Papan, the World Cup Hero card. Um, and I also picked up a discard um, I think it was Oviedo, the left back from Path to Glory. But you can pack the World Cup heroes and the Path to Glories from it and get decent fodder at the same time. People will spam those. People will hammer those. They'll drain their clubs. And, of course, they will go and buy those players off the market to do them. And that takes coins off the market and decreases the value of a lot of cards. I mean, to be completely honest, the way the market feels right now, I wouldn't be holding on to anything super long term because with 75 plus player picks out, probably prices throughout the rest of this week, while we'll, we'll have a couple of fluctuations in there, I do think that you will still have a lot of prices dropping down 
towards the end of the week as well. I only have a couple of cards left that I've been trying to flip. Uh, I have a Vinny that I'm kind of stuck with. I did buy a couple of Kim Min Jays, and if you're doing any trading at the moment, I would just say try to do the fluctuation flips uh, on the new cards. Like seriously, the, you see the cards that are moving the most, right? It's those World Cup heroes. It's the brand new Path to Glories because people are trying them out. Even though they're in packs, it is still brings great opportunities to trade with them because they're in demand. I bought some Kim and Jays tonight at like 80, 83, 84,000 coins. Uh, is I think the most that I paid for one of these. He was up a decent amount yesterday before content. I'm not expecting this guy to go above 100K again, but if you can snag one at like 83 or 84, I do think that we might see like 95 maybe this morning. We'll see. We'll know, or who knows? We will see. Um, Zakaria is another one that I've been kind of eyeing as a flip opportunity, but honestly, he's not going low enough for me. Like if this guy's going to go, he was 340 before content yesterday. Um, and how many cards do we have to 330? You know, we've got four pages. We have a lot of overnight listings. You can see there's a lot of traders right here. Second owner, no games played. As I move through these, look at how many of these have no games played for the current owner. That to me means all these cards right here, somebody's trying to trade with. They listed them overnight. So the Zakaria right now is like kind of, he's not going to go any higher than like 330 probably with the number of listings that we have here overnight. Uh, so, you know, if I was going to buy a Zakaria to try to flip, I would want to see like 290K. And I don't think he's going to go that low. He's like 300 flat at the moment. So that's kind of the thing that we're doing and trying to find with the market right now, which is opportunities to flip. Now, I did flip a cool Bali yesterday, and he interests me because he's super rare, super hype still. Um, and again, with the Zakaria being out, there's people that want to try out Zakaria and Kulabali together. So I picked one up on bid um, about an hour ago at a cheap price, 357. I hope I can get 390 for that before content today. Um, but that's kind of the stuff that we're doing on the market. And what I would say today is the cards that you see fluctuate um, the most and panic sell, the, our, our panic sold the most before content today on Tuesday. If you see any of these Path to Glory cards, if you see any of the heroes, maybe even some of the World Cup heroes, Heroes. I know that I'm talking about these heroes a lot, but just because they're rare and they fluctuate, basically any of your rare cards, these World Cup heroes, the Path to Glories, Icons, or the base heroes, or even just some out of packs cards in general, if you see some panic selling today heading into the content drop, I think there will be an ample opportunity for them to rise after the content drop because I'm not expecting really any crazy content today on Tuesday. Like I said, yes, that 80 plus team of the week player pick could be dropped, but that to me is not that insane of an SBC. I don't think that would make the market move enough uh, that it would make prices go down after the content today, unless there's tradable supply. So today on Tuesday might be a bit of a slower day, even though there's still a lot going on in this game, it might be a bit of a slower day. Now, the last thing I wanna look at is through SBCs again, uh, we had the dynamic duo that was yesterday. We could have another dynamic duo today, maybe drop via objectives, maybe drop via SBCs, of course. EA is dropping a lot of these at the moment. And we also had the FIFA World Cup Challenge England. And this also kind of confirmed uh, what we were talking about over the weekend is that EA is going to be dropping these nation specific kind of like pack supply challenge SBCs um, on the game. It actually makes a lot of low tier fodder move a lot. I believe it was like center attacking mids from uh, England, uh, we're going up a bit. So you just have to kind of look for these SBCs that require certain requirements in here. Uh, are any of these guys going up a decent amount or are any of these gold cards selling for like a thousand coins? Because those are the ones that you're gonna see fluctuate the most. Um, it, it may not be any of those right there, but these are the types of SBCs. This one gives out a really good pack as well, by the way. We might get another one of these today. If it's tradable, yes, it could supply the market, but also it could bring some great trading opportunities for the lower tier of the market as well. Um, if you have a lot of people wanting to go out and do the SBC for a pack or for whatever it may be, absolutely watch out for that type of SBC today as the, I think it's the Ecuador SBC expires because the Qatar SBC expired yesterday and that's what they replaced with the England one. Let me find this really quick here. Base icon upgrade. Yeah, the FIFA challenge, FIFA World Cup challenge, Ecuador. Uh, this one goes away. So potentially a new one of those today. If definitely keep an eye out for that. And I think we might have a new Bundesliga player of the month SBC pretty soon too. I don't know if that's a leak or not. Uh, I don't even know if that voting is over, but uh, watch out for a Bundes player of the month because I think that's one that we haven't seen released yet. Fullkrug's got two days left. That could be upcoming. I don't even know if we know the winner 
of that one yet either, but just kind of keep an eye out there. Now, continuing the conversation on Path to Glories, uh, I still think that we're waiting on these cards. We're waiting to see them drop a little bit more, we're waiting to see their prices dip over the next couple of days. I, ju I just think today is going to be a bit of a quieter one, but hey, EA could prove us wrong. They could say we're completely uh, wrong and saying it's going to be a quiet day, but definitely watch the fluctuations on the market. It might be a bit of a slow one, like we said, uh, but that still can mean that we can make profit and we can still trade some cards and make some coins. If you know icon prices and you know how to fluctuation trade with them, that could be a really good way you make coins today. But of course, I know a lot of you guys are making coins on fodder as well, and that is a W. So just try to time your fodder cells uh, in just the right way, I would say, depending on whether it's low tier or high tier. Get those cards out at a decent time frame and you'll be all right. But that's kind of the video for today. We wanted to watch and, and show that the market went down a bit yesterday and did bounce back again. I feel like I made a solid 100K yesterday, right? I mean, it was like 10K on these Kulabalis. It was like, you know, 7K on this. I bought this Hernandez for 169, sold it for 190. These smaller X I bought at 159 or something like that. Awarion at 154. Brolin in the 130s, 140s. So it's like a lot of these like 7 to 10K flips just multiplied uh, across with all the coins that we have. So that's kind of what was the best move on the market yesterday. And hopefully today we'll be able to read the market a bit more. Watch out for leaks, of course. And the last thing I want to talk about is, uh, I'm sure you guys have seen this. There is a massive, massive patch that has been just released by EA. I don't know when this is going to get released. It seems like they've been putting out the patches really, really fast this year. Um, and that whenever they post like some pitch notes and stuff, it's like a couple days later, they actually put them out in the game. Tuesdays are common days for updates and patches to the game. I feel like this one is a little bit too, maybe too much or it's, it's too late notice for it to be dropped this Tuesday, but maybe it's next Tuesday. I don't know. If you guys want a deep dive rundown on some of the best talking points and how this is going to impact the game, I will link Inception's video below. He's going to go through this um, and really break it down. So make sure you check that out in the description. Uh, if you want to deep dive on this. So watch out for the potential of this today um, dropping on the game. But yeah, the base icon SBC was everything that we hoped for and more yesterday. Decent value, fun gamble, made the market move. We made some coins. And I know that is what was very important and probably the biggest uh, point for a lot of you guys watching this video was the fodder going up yesterday was very very nice. So we're going to be streaming today once again, watching to see if EA surprises us with some Tuesday content, but might not be that much. We'll see. That link's down below in the description as well. If you enjoyed today's video, smash thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. Let's have a great Tuesday. It's been Nathan Wood Accountant. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.